con la entrevista a Stefan Wilkeman, el presidente y CEO de, Lambor de Automóvil y Lamborghini. Well, Stefan, thank you very much for having us here in Ascari, in the uh, south of Spain, for this uh, the launch of the new uh, Huracán. Um, I had the pleasure of being uh, with you guys in Vegas, I think, Tenerife, Miami, and now here. So thank you very much for that. You're welcome. You're welcome. Uh, so uh, Lamborghini, it's been a, a, a quite a, a good time in the past decade, let's say, right? Like a lot of evolution, a lot of uh, good things coming out, even though in that decade include like the biggest recession in the history of the U.S. and pretty much around the world. Yes, I think that uh, we worked on pretty everything which you can work on a on a car brand. Uh, so we did a lot of uh, things around the brand, increasing awareness and image, which is including uh, uh, the CICD, all what is uh, uh, to do with the PR activities. Uh, we were concentrated on giving always the same message about our super sports cars. We implemented uh, and we executed uh, the two model strategy with all the derivatives. Uh, we launched uh, uh, the one-off idea of having very exclusive um, single cars. And uh, last but not least, we worked a lot uh, inside our headquarters to increase the, uh, the professionality, the amount of people, and also in terms of our worldwide dealer network, uh, we um, more than doubled it in the last uh, decade. Yeah. And it's been, uh, that vision recognized not only by like other uh, companies that monitor the auto industry, but also like people who really want to come and work for Lamborghini. I just saw a report that uh, there's uh, one of the most other uh, companies to work in Italy. Yes, this is one of the positive signs that beside, uh, let's say, our attitude uh, internally, this is also perceived outside. And it's clear that it's sexy to work for a company like Lamborghini, which is in the luxury business, which is, uh, let's say, producing the best uh, super sports cars. But it's also a sign that there is a lot of uh, work that we did with the schools, with the university, to attract people. And this also, uh, together with the mouse propaganda, of uh, seeing that we are a good place to work in every sense. Yeah, and you also put uh, your 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 words where your efforts where the, your words are. Like you're reinvesting a lot of, of money into the, your facilities, into your like programs to develop more people, and then to attract the best people possible. Because at the end, you want to put out the best product possible too, right? Right. So it's a combination. You need to reinvest to keep the dream alive, and on the other hand, you need the right people, which are not only the best professionals that you can get but they also have to feel the passion about the brand and they are they need to have the willingness to engage for a lamborghini well i'm following like a great leader like you it's a, a little bit easier i guess for everybody who works at lamborghini no well thank you for the leader but it's it's a teamwork in this sense and uh, everybody is part of the family and represents uh, Lamborghini. And I think this is also what you feel when you come uh, to our events. No, absolutely, yeah, it's a very friendly uh, environment. Even though a Lamborghini can be to some people a little bit intimidating in terms of being like a very powerful car and, and exclusive, but you really feel that uh, kind of family, family atmosphere around here. Yes, and uh, once you drive the car, uh, you also feel, and especially with the Huracan, that it's a very, uh, easy to drive uh, uh, and uh, daily drivable car and uh, what we wanted to achieve is really to have the maximum of the range to have an easiness of the road but also a very good performance on the race. Yeah, so you, you want, want us to make a be part of the family. Yeah. So speaking of which is a very exclusive car, all your cars are, but uh, Lamborghini is uh, kind of expanding to other uh, kind of uh, merchandise like fashion and like perfumes and all, all those kind of things to maybe attract people in other ways than just like not buying the cars, right? Yes, because uh, what we're doing is clearly we are 99.9% .9 is about uh, developing, producing and selling uh, our cars. But we have one thing, which is the, our Collezione Automobile Lamborghini, which is about uh, 
collection of, of, uh, of which goes from car models, but also into fashion and things like this. And this is the only thing we do because there are two reasons. The first one is it's not diluting the values of the brand. And on the other side, it's uh, attracting people into the world of Lamborghini. And uh, uh, it's also a good business case for us. Yeah. So the, the, the economy has recuperated more or less uh, in the U.S. in some other parts of the country. You're growing big in some other markets like China. And even though it's a, are there smaller uh, markets like South America, Brazil, Chile, but a lot more people are feeling comfortable of uh, getting a, a Lamborghini and driving it around every day. Yes, for sure. The, the fact that um, the last years we worked a lot on... Uh, on uh, The attractiveness, not only on the, of the brand but also on the cars, is now giving us an easy access to a larger crowd of people and also thanks to the bigger car park because we are a very small company and in the 50 plus one years they were produced around 30,000 cars only. And uh, if the half of them are still on the street, then it's a lot. So we are still a very, very small company, but uh, awareness and image increased uh, dramatically in the last decade. Well, thank you very much for your time and having us here. And I really like that uh, matter that you have, uh, what, a hundred, a century of development in half the time, right? Yeah, no, a hundred years of innovation, innovation in half the time. Excellent. Thank you very much. And we're going to go and enjoy the car more in the track here. Thank, thank you. you. Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting.